Welcome to lesson 1.4 of the OCR Entry Level Certificate in Computer Science video tutorial course. In this video, we examine the concept of utility software. Let's begin. We will start by defining what utility software is. Utility software is a program or programs with a single purpose, i.e. designed to do one specific task, which aids the function of an operating system. Examples include antivirus software, disk formatting software, and diagnostic software. So why is utility software essential to the operating system and to the computer as a whole? It is essential because it adds features and functionality to the computer's operating system. It allows users to view information about and diagnose problems with their computer system. It helps to fix any problems discovered on a user's computer. It enhances the security of the computer system. It helps maintain the computer's functionality and keeps it running smoothly. And it helps maintain a computer's performance. You will need to know a range of different types of utility software for your exam. So let's start having a look at some now. The first category of utility software we will examine is computer security. And our first piece of utility software is the antivirus. Antivirus software is used to scan for, detect, and remove viruses from a computer system. Viruses can basically destroy data on a computer system, and they get in using security loopholes, and they prevent the machine from running as it should. Antivirus software is usually active, meaning that it constantly scans for new items on a computer. But if you fail to update your antivirus definitions on a regular basis, you will be compromising the security of your computer. You should also remember to regularly scan your system, either manually or by setting up automatic scheduled scans. The next two pieces of utility software which aid in a computer security are very similar to the antivirus program we mentioned before. These are anti-spyware and anti-malware programs. Basically, they are designed to detect and remove any software which is deemed to be spyware or deemed to be malware, which means malicious software, on your computer. Spyware can include things like key loggers, which detects the buttons you press on your keyboard, and mouse loggers to determine the coordinates of your clicks on your screen. And these are traditionally used to steal passwords and or personal data. Malware is software which looks genuine, but can be used to destroy files or disrupt your computer system. Many of the software packages listed in the previous slide have full internet security packages, which include antivirus, anti-malware, and anti-spyware software. Our final security utility is the firewall. A firewall is designed to monitor and restrict incoming and outgoing traffic on a computer which is connected to the internet. Each computer has ports, which are direct links to each piece of hardware on your computer which has network capability. The firewall's job is to scan each port and only allow access to communications which you or the computer deems valid. The firewall can block things like hackers and also software such as virus software getting onto your computer. Our next category of utility software is disk management. Our first example of disk management utility software is formatting software. Now, to explain this, before a hard disk or a memory stick can be used on a computer, it must first be formatted to use the correct file system. Devices using Windows use what's called the NTFS, or FAT32 file systems. Windows recognises both of these file systems, and as a result, any device which is formatted into one of these will be recognised by Windows and usable. Formatting software can also be used to erase data from storage devices. One word of caution though, when you erase data using a disk formatting software, it doesn't necessarily get rid of the data, it just prompts the operating system that the data can be overwritten. Next in the disk management category, we have file transfer utilities. Moving information from one device to another is a function that's built into most operating systems. However, 
Uploading data to the internet requires specialist software. If you've got a website and you want to upload new pages to it and new content, you use file transfer software, which creates a, a link to the location on the internet where your website is stored and allows files to be added or removed. Our next utility is the disk defragmentation utility software. When you install a program on a hard disk drive, it is written sequentially, i.e. one instruction after another. However, over time, when you delete and install programs, the operating system tries to fill the gaps on a hard disk drive. This creates fragmentation where the files are not next to each other. Defragmentation software reorders these files so they become sequential again, which means that your computer can read files much quicker and it reduces loading times. Our final disk management utility is the backup utility. Backup software allows the data from one device to be copied to another device either manually or automatically. One of the benefits of using backup software is that you can schedule a backup to run on a regular basis, which means you don't have to remember to do it. You can also have it so that when you've got two or more hard drives, one drive can sync up with another drive rather than always doing a full backup. Backup software also allows you to restore backups or to clone a drive, which is where you take an exact copy of the entire hard drive and store it on another device. We are now on to our final category of utility software, which deals with system maintenance. Our first utility is system information and diagnosis. There are many instances on a computer where you need information about your system. If you are having problems, diagnostic tools may be able to detect the problem and even solve it. If your computer is running hot, for example, you can see information about fan utilization and the temperature each component is getting to. There are lots of tools, but each of them serve to inform the user of what's going on with their computer system. Next, we have cleanup tools. There are many things that get cluttered on a computer. For example, the system registry can contain details about programs that have been deleted, the hard disk drive can contain files from old versions of programs. Web browsers download and store cookies from websites that you've accessed. And people regularly forget to empty their recycle bin or their downloads folders. Cleanup software can be used to quickly restore order by searching for clutter on a computer and allowing the user to remove it. The benefit is it's all in one place, so the user doesn't have to search everything themselves. Our final utility is the automatic update utility. It's important to keep your system and its software up to date. The main reason for this is security. The longer software is not updated, the more chance hackers will have of finding a way to access your computer. Update software, such as Windows Update, will automatically keep your computer system's operating system and much of its software up to date, thus making it harder for hackers to get into your system. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video and the final video for Exam 1 of the OCR Entry Level Certificate in Computer Science video course.